Well, hey pals, Peeps here. Thanks for coming by the channel. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video today as I was at a baseball card show here in the Twin Cities a couple of weekends ago and haven't had a chance to kind of make a video and give a couple of shout outs to a couple of hobby pals that I was able to meet. And uh, so I'm gonna do that and let's get right to it. I ran into our pal, uh, Scott at Scoot, uh, Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities. Scott is quietly uh, just like ultra knowledgeable in the hobby and um, uh, especially when it comes to kind of more rare items and smaller issues. Um, I look to Scott's channel often um, for knowledge uh, that he is sharing so generously and uh, anyway, get on over there. I'll link it below. Uh, and anyway, Scott gave me a uh, program, it looks like, from a Roger Maris Golf Invitational from 1999 in Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, this was sponsored by the now defunct Northwest Airlines. I think Northwest got bought. I don't know if they got bought by, was it Delta? Anyway, um, that's super cool. This has some really nice images inside. There's a nice image of Maris and the miners. His minor league uniform on. I don't know if that was, if, if Maris, maybe more, Maris was from the area and I wonder if that's Fargo Moorhead, that FM. Anyhow. And he also gifted me this amazing book that I did not know existed called Black Baseball in Minnesota. And um, I, I just, I've only read like the very first page at this point. And uh, it is super interesting going back to the late 1800s. Um, uh, I'm just really thankful for that, Scott. Uh, that is awesome. Is right up my alley. Uh, the kind of the history that's tougher to find, and and somebody's written a book about it anyway. So I'm really happy to have that. I'm looking forward to reading it. And um, then of course I also met Rob, our pal Rob over at Commenting Collector. He gave me a sticker. And uh, get on over to Commenting Collector. There's some very entertaining stuff over there, for sure. All right, on to the pickups. I uh, had with me uh, a couple of, maybe a handful of graded cards that I thought I'd bring just because they didn't quite fit uh, in my collection, uh, or at least the examples. I might've had a double or something like that. But anyway, these five cards, I think there were five or six maybe that were definitely tradable. And I thought, why not bring them? And turns out there was one vintage uh, vendor there that was interested in my copy of the 1959 uh, Maze Catch card. Um, that fabulous catch. It's like a little three panel shot. You're probably familiar with the card. Uh, I'd show it, but I I, uh, I traded it. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was in a PSA holder. It was graded a five or something. It was probably worth $75, $80 or so. Um, it was off-center, it wasn't well-centered. Otherwise, it was a nice-looking card, and um, I have another one. And um, so anyway, I ended up trading that for these three cards that I was very excited about. I went through a lot of this guy's inventory and um, ended up with these three here. And uh, let me know what you think. I think these will go into my SGC uh, to be graded pile. Um, they fit my collection nicely, and um, yeah, so the first one here is the 1960 Frank Robinson. Love the design of this set. Beautiful color, beautiful centering on this copy. Um, here's the back. Nice clean back. And... Uh, this was actually the throw-in at the end, so the throw-in, if you will. I mean, this, it's a nice copy, and it definitely fits my collection. But the two cards I started with were uh, this one here, the 59 Frank Robinson. 
Just a beautiful example here. And it's one I've never owned. Um, and I've loved it forever. It's just the design, the color, the photograph, it all comes together on the 59 Frank Robinson. Nice clean back here as well. So that'll be making its way to SGC, I imagine. And that would look great in an SGC holder, in my opinion. Probably look good in a PSA holder as well. I don't know, we'll see. And then this uh, particular vendor had a beauty of a copy of the Bill White Rookie. Now I've uh, picked up several copies of this card and this might be the best example I've found out there yet. And this might be the one that gets sent in. Beautifully centered, nice clean uh, background. Sometimes that yellow can be a little muddy or dirty or streaky. This one's super nice. Here's the back of this. And so I got all three cards here. Like exceptional examples. Really nice color, really well centered. That uh, definitely fit my collection. And um, yeah, for that uh, Willie Mays catch card. So that was my big, uh, those are my dealings at the Maplewood Mall of all places in Minnesota. So there you have it. Shout out again to Scott over at Stukes and Rob over at Commenting Collector. Um, let me know what you think. I appreciate you coming by and we'll uh, see you next time. Take care.